and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be making bubblegum spaghetti. You can get this bubblegum chewing kit in the description below. All right, so we have the gum mixer here. I have two packets. I'm gonna cut that up. The scissors will let me, okay. I'm gonna pour that into here. Bam. Now we're gonna microwave this for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, and repeat the process until it starts to just get melted. Also, it came with some corn syrup. I put that in hot water so it starts to soften because in the box it got really cold and hard. But yeah, I'm just gonna put it in here, uh, warm water, and it's gonna start to soften now. Now that it's warmed up, look at it, it's melting. This is your gum base. This is the point where you wanna add your corn syrup. So it's all melted and nice together. So go ahead and grab your corn syrup. It will be nice and liquidy. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at all this cornstarch going into my bubblegum. You just want to add your cornstarch into your bubblegum while it's still warm and just mix it all around like that. All right, so I'm going to add one drop of yellow into my bubblegum mixture. Boop! And hopefully that will help it become a little more ye jello, you know? Oh, see? It's starting to look a little more dough-like. Oh, yeah. Okay, now that I have one drop in there, we're going to actually get our powdered sugar that comes with the package. Isn't this great? I've used these... Uh, these kits a lot of times because I just really like having kits like it just makes it easy um, And it gives you everything you need so now that you have all this stuff I'm just gonna put it in here and move it around in here and when it's the right temperature That's when I'll start making the spaghetti It looks kind of like uh, when you're making spaghetti and you're making the dough It looks like the flour and I'm just putting it into extra flour right now So right now you want to just take your sticks your Chinese sticks and you want to just work the sugar in. It's kind of warm right now, so just want to work the sugar into it and just move it around. And you'll know when the texture is right for spaghetti. You'll just feel it. But for right now, you just want to move it around in the sugar. It's just really warm right now, so it's kind of difficult to move. But the sugar is basically going to make it less sticky and easy to work with. At this point, I'm going to powder my hands and just start to play with the dough. Now I'm just playing with the dough until the excess heat kind of escapes it and it starts to get harder. But right now it is so warm and so hot that I just I need to keep playing with it until the dough starts to get a little bit colder. But you want to powder your hands so nothing gets stuck to it. Alright guys, so first we're gonna just uh, roll it out. We're gonna try the same technique we had with the uh, dragon's beard and see if it works. I'm gonna just make it into a ball. And a ring, make it into a ring, and just make it into a very long ring, making sure it's an even ring, like this, and powdering as much as we can as we're going to make sure it doesn't stick together. Once you get it to a nice, big, even ring like this, we're eventually going to figure it. Oh my gosh, I got a really thin piece here. Okay. Okay. Oh, not bad. And then, uh, okay. Then we're just going to keep doing the same thing. All right, so that didn't work. So now I warmed it up again. Bubble gum is very forgiving. So you can warm it up again, and I'm actually gonna roll it out into thin sheets like this, and then slice it into pasta. Place it on here. Use a little roller with some of the discs, like that. All right, now that we have it into like a pasta-like thing, you usually could put this through a pasta roller and I've cut it out into little spaghetti shapes, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just gonna cut. This is how you make fettuccine. Just go ahead and cut it like this into little squares and cut and then spread it open like that. Wow, fettuccine. See, all this fettuccine right here, and we got spaghetti, uh, mamma mia. So I made the spaghetti, it's right here. Look at, isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna put the spaghetti on the plate like this, and you're like, Marlon, what kind of sauce are we gonna use? Don't worry, I wanted to use like, something red and fruity, and all I could find at the store was this squeeze candy. It's actually like a red squeeze candy. Let's just test it here first. So it's gonna look like this. 
Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now that we have this red squeeze candy, onto the spaghetti. Are you guys ready? All you have to say is, Mamma Mia, spaghetti. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this looks like spaghetti, but then this looks like straight ketchup. <laughs> ketchup and spaghetti. Now I'm gonna get some of the fettuccine noodles. Fettuccine. Just put that right here on the side like this. Fettuccine. We have our fettuccine noodles. Here we go. All right. I like white sauce on fettuccine, but this uh, this this sauce is gonna have to do. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it still looks like ketchup, guys. I'm like honey poo poo, and I'm eating spaghetti with just straight ketchup and butter. <laughs> What's crazy about this? Okay, honestly, it kind of looks like pasta, like uncooked pasta. Okay, doesn't this look beautiful? All right, here we go. Time for a taste test of the spaghetti with uh, the cherry red sauce. Let's find out. Ooh, look at the spaghetti bubble gum, bubble gum spaghetti. Ooh, mmm. Wait a second, this is really good. <laughs> wow! Bubble gum spaghetti! 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 Everybody knows all pasta tastes different because you know different cut sizes. So, Mamma Mia, fettuccine! Here we go! I put it in my mouth. Come on, fettuccine! Ah! Oh. Mm. Why is this so good? Why is bubble gum spaghetti the new thing? Oh my god, bubblegum spaghetti should be the new thing because this is delicious. Moist in your mouth. Guys, this is delicious. Mamma mia, this spaghetti is so good. You should try it. Honestly, make some spaghetti and eat some bubblegum like this. Like, you can take it for lunch and your teachers won't even know that you're eating bubblegum because you're eating spaghetti, but like, it looks, it's bubblegum. But all right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Oh yeah, check out these shirts. It's almost Christmas time, so make sure you go and order it before December 14th because that's gonna be the last day you can order these Marmar shirts and so they can ship it to you before Christmas. So if you want one, it's in the link in the description below on my Crowdmade website. Get this video to 30,000 likes and I'll make another awesome bubblegum video. I will take your suggestions from the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!